In this video, I'll give you some tips that will help you reach the point where your social media accounts and your blog itself are combined. Some of these will immediately take a mediocre and poorly functioning Twitter account and turn it into something that is gradually able to gain momentum. So after you've followed through on the advice from the previous video and established a strong brand across all platforms, the next thing to get to work on is setting up these relationships. This is crucial stuff not to be skipped. The first thing to do is to make sure your site has a follow us on Twitter button. Even if you're only getting a small amount of traffic to your website, you might be making a big impression on some of those visitors. Adding a button that makes it easy for people to follow you on Twitter or that links to your Twitter profile will give those people an easy and familiar way to stay updated and to get more of your content. A lot of websites will forego this. Too often, bloggers and business owners recognize the importance of letting their visitors share the content they find and enjoy, but they don't give an easy way to follow them. Add this function, and make it prominent, and suddenly you have a way to stay in touch with your occasional visitors and to bring them back more often. This way, even if you were to ignore your Twitter, it would still grow slowly over time. Better yet is to add a Twitter feed to your website. Assuming your website is powered by WordPress, you can integrate this feature very simply by installing a widget plugin and arranging it to appear in your sidebar. The best widget for this task, in my opinion, is WP Twitter feeds, which you can install from within the WordPress dashboard. If you're unsure about how to do this, then ask your web designers, but note that this is a two-minute job and should be charged accordingly. Once you have a Twitter feed, you not only have made it easy for people to follow if they want to, but you also have given them a little taster of the kind of content they can expect from you if they do follow. This also has the nice added bonus of keeping your website looking active by filling it with new content. We briefly mentioned social sharing buttons as something most people should already know that they should do. Now, just to reiterate, you should do this. Social sharing buttons give your visitors an easy way to share the content they enjoy on your website, even if they aren't following you. This means that their entire audience will get to see that content and might be introduced to your brand for the first time. If you have a WordPress site, the best plugin I know of for this purpose is Shareaholic, which, again, you can install from within the WordPress dashboard. It not only lets your visitors follow you on Twitter, but on other social media sites like Facebook and Google Plus as well. You should link all of your different social media accounts, but one of the most important ones to look at is Instagram. Why? Because Instagram and Twitter work very similarly and are perfectly designed to go together. Briefly, Instagram is a social media channel where you can share photos with light effects and filters added. It's got lots of photos of sunsets, selfies of people working out, and shots of people's legs on sun lounges. But Instagram can also be very useful for marketers. For starters, it's actually larger than Twitter in many ways. At the same time, it makes similar use of hashtags, but it's actually more popular for them as people will enjoy looking at photos on particular themes. If you upload a photo of your hotel on holiday, for instance, then you might very likely want to see photos other people have recently taken of that same hotel, people who are likely staying there with you at that very moment. The great thing is that when you upload to Instagram, you can easily select to tweet to Twitter as well, and this will include the very same comment and hashtag while even showing a link to the image you posted. This way you can add a more visual element to your Twitter tweets, and people can feel as though they're getting an insight into your daily life or into the way you run your business. You should also link your accounts and ensure that if you post to one, that message will appear on all of your different social networks. So, for example, if you update your Facebook page status, then ideally that should appear on Twitter. Likewise, if you upload a new video, then you should have this appear on your Twitter account too. You can even set up WordPress to share new posts on Twitter. 
This is a great way to save time while providing compelling content to your Twitter followers. This feature is built right into WordPress which makes the whole thing very easy. We're going to get a bit more advanced with this auto posting in coming videos but at this point the take home message is that content you post in one place should automatically be shared across all your accounts where appropriate. Here's one more way to get people to sign up to your Twitter that often gets overlooked. Just ask them to. If you place a Twitter button in the corner of your website and you find that people still aren't signing up then it could be one of two things. Either no one knows it's there or you're not providing enough incentive for people to want to sign up. So instead of just leaving it to chance why not say in the occasional blog post something like to stay up to date with all our latest content and special offers please consider signing up to our Twitter. Something like this might be just enough to draw attention to your Twitter and get people interested. This works even better in video so if you occasionally vlog you should also make sure that you ask people to sign up at the end of each video.